All right, so now to make a cup using a mold again, or in this case, just another cup uh, that's uh, wrapped with newspaper. Uh, here I have already made a slab of clay. Uh, I'm gonna cut this slab. I'm gonna cut pretty much a rectangle out of this. So you want this slab. Obviously, you want you want to have enough that it wraps around your your mold. So there, I cut out an edge, and then I'm gonna measure around six inches. So it could be a six-inch tall cup, which is kind of what I measured on this guy. It's about six inches tall. Cut the outer edges. Before I cut the other edge, I'm gonna leave it how it is and then just gonna start to wrap this up. Okay, and keep in mind how soft your slab might be. You know, this clay is actually a little bit on the stiff side, so I could use it because it's not gonna be all funky and soft. So I'm gonna grab this. The idea is that you wanna be able to lift this and it should be able to sort of like stand on its own without collapsing. If it's a little too soft and it just collapses then you might wanna dry it out a bit. Not too much, so just very little cause uh, slabs tend to dry pretty fast. All right, so just to kinda get an idea of how much to cut. So it's easier for me to manage this slab of clay. Okay, so now I start. I'm gonna press this against the cup a little bit more. Kind of keeping it tight against the cup itself. One thing I want to do is okay, let me open this up. When I join these guys, I want to join them with a beveled cut. So I'm going to cut the edge on this guy at an angle. Just a second, because I want a beveled cut. Same thing with the other one, do the opposite for the bevel cut. And that connection is going to be a lot stronger than if it was just two flat sides connecting to one another. More score and water. up and make sure I really press the edges together. The other idea too is to, you know, eventually when you clean this up, make it look seamless. 
because you don't want to have a very noticeable seam. Using my metal rib, I'm going to blend and scrape off. So now that I have that, I can you see, since it's lined up a newspaper, this could easily slide off. So eventually that's what I'm gonna want. Now I'm just gonna be gently pressing this so it takes the shape of my cup. Since this cup I used is kind of squarish. cup to be squarish. I use the metal rib to help me with that. Kind of like square the edges. Obviously, if you're working with something that's more um, circular, then you don't have to do this. But in my case, because I got a squarish cup, I'm doing it. So now I'm just gonna take a look at my bottom edge. You know, if it looks pretty pretty straight. Um, I am gonna make a slab, obviously, for the bottom of my cup. Uh, so it's looking pretty. I think the edge looks pretty good. I could uh, measure it out, make sure uh, I'm gonna cut it so that it's not all wonky and crooked. I think I'm gonna cut it six inches. Measure, measure out six inches.
just cutting the little edge I have. So that the bottom of my cup is nice and flat. Now I could technically slide this off already. I'm gonna leave it on here for right now and then I'm gonna make my my bottom. Oh some extra clay. I could just put this flip it over and just get that outline. Just like everything else, go and slip. Okay, with this guy. Actually, take the cup out. That way, I could put this together. I'm just gonna handle my cup carefully. Again, uh, make sure um, this should be stiff enough. You're able to do this. If the clay was too soft, then you might have to wait. carefully since it's out of the cup now With the tapping along the edges I'm gonna make sure like you know, this bottom is really on it was scored on. I want it to be pretty strong. Scrape some of that extra clay. Flip it over. 
the newspaper, I'm going to remove it. Carefully remove it. Alright, so there's my cup. One thing I'm going to do as well is I'm going to reinforce that inside connection between the floor, the bottom of my cup and the wall because otherwise that's where things tend to slip. So I'm going to make a small coil and drop it in there to blend it. I'll do that right now. Make a skinny coil. Got the coil, and I'm just going to drop it in there. And with the wood tool, you're going to line it up against the edge. Since it might be hard to reach with your hands and fingers. out the other piece okay all right so now that I dropped the coil in there I, I need to blend it you guys see that so I'm gonna get my wood tool and blend it if I can't reach with my fingers again you want to do this to reinforce the attachment To show you how it's looking, you can just blend those together. Eventually, I'm also gonna try to reinforce that seam where I connected from the outside. So, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a tool. I'm doing that really well, and then the, I might have to, depending on your form, you might have to add a coil. Well, depending how the seam looks, you might have to coil it just to reinforce it. my cup actually could paddle it more into shape since it is on the still workable since my cup is square I'm trying to make it more square looking is looking more round then you know, I'm gonna have to do this it all depends all right so 
So there's my cup. Here's my bowl. So you'll need to make a cup and a bowl for this assignment. Uh, these are still, you know, uh, work in progress. So I'm going to wait for these to set up a bit. And then I'm going to continue to work on them and refine them. But these are, you know, made using the molds. Like I said, if you use a cup, line it up with some newspaper. If you got a bowl, use some ceram wrap. And those are your molds to be able to make these guys with slabs of clay. So go ahead and give it a try. Make sure you're paying attention to your clay, how soft it is. Uh, if it feels too soft, again, you might need to let it sit for some time, depending on how the weather is. So it could uh, stiffen a bit. Um, because you don't want it to be way too soft and when the clay is way too soft it just becomes a little bit difficult to manage so pay attention to that pay attention to your clay see how it wants to behave and then use it accordingly all right guys go ahead and give it a try good luck take your time be patient with the clay don't rush the process good luck guys